part of mindfulness is learning how to train our attention here so that we can stabilize it long enough to see clearly. Right? If I'm trying to take a picture and I'm moving all around and I can't focus, I'm going to get a fuzzy picture. Our mind wanders about 46.9% of the time. Okay, that's roughly half of your waking life that you're spaced out. And so part of learning how to see things clearly is learning simply how to pay attention. Okay, so part of these practices that we're all learning are training the mind in how to be present so that we can see things clearly. We have between 12 and 50,000 thoughts every single day. 95% of them are the exact same, right? And you all probably are starting to get a sense of those thoughts, right? What am I going to eat? Why did she do this? Why am I not smarter? Whatever they are, right? We have these thoughts that we just recycle. One of my favorite quotes, this is Emo Phillips. He says, I used to think the brain was the most wonderful organ in my body. Then I realized who was telling me this. Right? Right? We believe our thoughts. Our thoughts aren't real. In fact, what we've learned in neuroscience is that when we feel ashamed, the centers of our brain that have to do with learning new behavior shut down. So think about that, right? I mean, if I really see something in myself I don't like and I shame myself, it actually locks it in. That's why the compassion piece is so important with mindfulness because if we're gonna truly see clearly, it takes a lot of courage because some of the stuff we're looking at isn't beautiful. And so we need to hold it with compassion.